this is my current uh, situation y'all so this light was initially this room rather was initially like this chocolate color and it's pretty big so that's why we painted it dark but we went ahead and painted it all white um, at the top you can see I still have some trim to do but other than that um, the painting job should be done so I'm starting on this room and uh, this is actually a new sectional we got because this is the family room so we spent a lot of our time in here watching TV playing games uh, board games and just gathering so this is where family comes for holidays we spend most of our time in here if we're not in the kitchen so we need this room to actually stay <laughs> or remain looking big so we decided to go white and we put down new laminate floors we didn't do hardwood because it gets a lot of use so um floors are all new laminate um here is my empty corner that i'm so uh, focused on and has been like the the thing that gets me going every morning on what I'm actually going to do to put in that corner. I'm sorry the light keeps fading in and out but um, and as you can see it's there's a lot of space behind here so uh, eventually um, there will be a side table or uh, a sofa table back there along the wall and then a, maybe a large uh, lamp of some sort in that corner. I'm thinking of plant in this corner, but I want to get the right one. Um, I do love plants and they kind of clean the air because of where we live, dust is the enemy. It is everywhere. You can still see we still have our painting tarp down. Um, and then this is a fireplace. Right now it's holding all of our junk that we've been using to clean and work. Um, but that's also going to get a new mantle. That's going to be one of our projects. Um, so that we can utilize it for hanging stockings and right now we can't um, and then this is another empty corner I have so many back door with our back deck um, and this random um, that, that random I believe it's a dresser but it has like a secretary at the top so um, I am going to it's a mid-century modern piece and I'm going to redo it and put it leave it in this room as a as a storage piece for like our papers and stuff I only got it for $15 because you can see it's really scratched but that's another project to come um, more of our flooring going around uh, to the laundry room so like you see this room is pretty big and right now it's pretty empty so you probably hear me echoing a lot um, and then it leads into the kitchen which we did put down some new um tile ceramic tile flooring so this is love of my life and then i went and got this table because i needed a smaller table to come in here um but there are going to be several projects in here as you can see we um have already attempted just to put a white on the wall this room will also become white and it looks like i don't have a lot of safe I've, uh, space or stuff rather i've been living in this house uh, for eight and a half eight years I think and no don't be fooled all of our stuff oh geez it's in here as you can see it's jam packed so this is the living room so you see a second <laughs> large couch right there uh, that's my work space area um, back there is a giant cabinet that holds a lot of our linens and extra pillows and things rugs um, here is this china cabinet my husband's mother uh, gave that to us but can hardly see it but it's gonna go away um, and just a bunch of junk and then these tall gorgeous solid wood um, shelving units there are two of them um, they're pretty big they're like five feet or five and a half feet by eight and a half feet or seven and a half feet they're pretty huge. I am going to put a back and some doors on those. Uh, put one in the kitchen and put the other one in the laundry room because I do need extra space for like all of my cutlery. And then if we span back this way, like I said, this living room is pretty large. I am going to have um, that dresser turn buffet um, or some sort of storage 
piece. Uh, that was also from uh, my mother-in-law and it's solid wood so I don't want to get rid of it uh, but I do want to transform it into something usable. Um, and then if you follow me you know all about my uh, last project this beautiful um, I use it as a plant stand but it's gorgeous um, and I have a lot of my plants on here so my next project uh, one of my next projects uh, will definitely be um, some uh, how do I say I want some decorative planters so a lot of these plastic planters are going to go away and I'm going to put some um, do some DIY and create some magic um, and then oh yes this is my cane plant right here by the door let's get out the sun it's gorgeous look at that it's hard to see because the sun is in the wrong spot so it's not shining the way that I need it to but it's gorgeous it's right now it's by the door uh, this room is this bluish green seafoam type color that I absolutely love when I did it but of course we're going to redo it um, and like you see we also went ahead and tap this with some paint um, and we've been trying to downsize a lot so you don't see all of the furniture and junk we have but I am going to streamline a lot of this and it's going to be beautiful but let me show you my daughter right now is overseas so she's not here right now so we turned her room into a collect all so a <laughs> there's more of our stuff in here you can see some chairs on her bed um, a bunch of, of quilts and blankets even our filing cabinet has blocked her uh, dresser access so but <sighs> that's a beast of another generation so you don't have to worry about that right now so but like I said we'll focus on actually I'm gonna take you this way from the living room through to my family room um, because this is the room that you're gonna see me vlogging a lot on so um, I hope you all enjoyed our little um, trip through my house sorry this fly um, and I hope you look forward to some new DIY projects that I'm going to do and I'm going to do them of quality and of purpose because they will be in my house. Thanks.